Today, I'll be starting with a zero overall team and adding one random player every season until I win a ring. And here's how it's gonna work. I added an expansion team to the NBA, the Las Vegas Venom. And they're starting from the bottom with 40 overall players. But every year I'm spinning two wheels to decide who I'll be taking from another team. The goal is to win a championship in under 10 seasons. So let's see if we can do it. So let's get started, man. Our first team is going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers. I like that because they have Donovan Mitchell, Evan Mobley, uh, Jarrett Allen, you know, Garland. And it looks like we're going to be getting their power forward which is Evan Mobley. So Evan Mobley is an 86 overall player. We have him with a team of 40 overalls. And the thing is, he's only 22 years old. So say this video takes 10 seasons to win a ring, he'll still be in his prime, which is a great start. So this first season is probably gonna be horrible. It is what it is, but at least we got started off with a good player. He's not really a, a shooter or like the best scorer in the world. He's more of a defensive guy. So I'm not expecting to put up much points, but he should definitely win Defensive Player of the Year. Like halfway through the season, he's putting up 39 and 28 boards and 4.4 blocks. So he's going to break a lot of records for single season for sure. And the thing is too, he sets up 48 minutes per game and I uh, injuries are still on. So he could get injured and get like a season ending injury. And oh, we have one of our bots with a broken left wrist. Could care less. Yes, sir. We did it. 0-82. It's easy, bro. Evan Mobley's MVP, the first MVP from the Las Vegas Venom, which is the dopest name of all time. But 41 points, 28 boards, 3 steals, and 4.6 blocks per game. Yeah, he did it. And is he defensive player of the year? Absolutely. And he's most improved, I'd imagine. Yeah. It's crazy that, like, after all this, he's still only fifth in terms of most rebounds in, 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 in a game. But he is on here for turnovers. 17 turnovers in the, in the game is kind of crazy. But he does get third in most points in his season right behind Wilt. So he's like the modern day Wilt, if you will. If you will, Wilt. If you will, Wilt. Shut, shut up, sorry. And he gets the most rebounds in his season with 2,300. Makes sense. And blocks, he is fifth. Hey, low key, that, that's good. Hopefully, his overall is going to, you know, spike up next season. And the Cavaliers lose to the Suns. Finally, 2K showing the Suns some love in this game. I, the Suns never make the finals. Every simulation I've done. About time KD wins a ring. Our next team, ideally, we get the OKC Thunder because they have so many good players we can steal from. But it's going to be the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, Minnesota, we're talking about... Anthony Edwards, Carl Anthony Towns, Rudy Gobert, and it looks like, dang it, bro, that's the last person I wanted, Rudy Gobert. Our team's gonna be great on defense. But yeah, only an 83 overall, the front court's gonna be crazy. Evan Mobley at 6'11", Gobert at 7'1", but he's 32 years old, so he might retire before we get a chance to win a championship, and we gotta keep on going. This could take forever, bro. But uh, yeah, offensively, we're gonna we're gonna suck. Well, to be honest, I I'm not really surprised we went 0 and 82 again. But uh, Evan Mobley, back-to-back -back MVPs, hey, he could be the go by the end of this video. And defensive player goes to him once again. And Rudy Gobert is All NBA second team. What a feat! He put up 23 and 22. So, you know, that's, 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 that's dope for him, I guess. But these are important to simulate and pay attention to see what teams are doing well. So the Thunder and Pistons are going to be a team we got to worry about once we get our team together. Unless we can steal Shea. If we can steal Shea off some dumb luck, I'd be so happy. And out of curiosity, Cooper Flag is a spur. But if I land on the Spurs, I guess he's a power forward. So him and Victor would be kind of crazy. And we did draft Ian Jackson, who's looking really solid in real life. But I got to cut him from the team. Look, I can't lie. Our first couple picks could have been much worse. We do have a good uh, starting foundation, Charlotte. Please give me LaMelo Ball. We need point guards so bad because I'm not trying to get Miles Bridges. Come on. Come on, yo, so close, yes, point guard. We were this close to not getting it. We get LaMelo Ball now. I'm not gonna lie, I have way more confidence in this challenge. Now we have LaMelo Ball at a 91 overall, Evan Mobley at a 89, and Rudy Gobert, he's declining kind of fast. But these two guys alone, they're young, and uh, we need. I, I really think by season seven, my new guess is by season seven, we can win a ring. And this season, we should win at least one game. Like, it's LaMelo Ball. Yeah, these games are a lot closer. As you can see, the Raptors only lost by five. So, I think this will be the season. Yeah, boom. We get our first win against the Celtics out of all teams. is crazy. But LaMelo Ball drops 62 points. Mobley with 31. And Rudy with only 11. Bro, in 5 for 15. Bro, you only are shooting the paint. How do you miss 10 layups, bum? But yeah, Jalen Brown and Tatum sold. That's actually crazy. Back-to-back -back wins against the Grizzlies, too. Wow. Yeah, we might make the playoffs this season. I thought Melo would have won MVP. 
Hey, do y'all call LaMelo Ball Melo or LaMelo? Do y'all call him Melo? Because I know it's like, you know, Carmelo, he doesn't really care, but like, I grew up watching Melo, Carmelo, so it's kind of weird for me to call LaMelo Melo. Comment down below, which one do you do? You know, is it, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just a name. But yeah, I thought he was going to win MVP over Luka, uh, but instead, we have Mobley winning Defensive Player of the Year for his third time. I'll take that, and LaMelo's out with a dislocated left padula. Not like it matters, bro. Oh, we got a lot of injuries, probably because we're overworking them to death. Uh, but this season, he averaged 46, 9, 5 assists, and 3 steals. Gobert with 15 and 15, and then Mobley with 33 and 23. Dope. I love how the Pistons are the first seed, man. That It just makes my day seeing that, that blue logo being a first seed back-to-back -back in the finals. And this time, the Pistons win it with Kay Cunningham winning finals MVP. Yes, sir. All right, next up, I will not mind getting the Thunder or the Pistons or, hold on now, it looks like we have Philadelphia. Now look, if we get Tyrese Maxey, that's a W. If we get Joel Embiid, that's a W. I think Tyrese is who we should go for. Ah, the power forward, I'm not sure who that is. Isn't it like uh, Nicholas Batum? Oh, hell no, it's Bobby Clintman. What? I don't even know who he is. He's definitely a bot. Yeah, drafted 2024. Okay, so we, they have no real power forward. I would have been happy with Bobby Portis, but he's listed as a center. I'm not going to cheat the system. We're taking Bobby Clint, man. So our first dud of a wheel spin. But at the end of the day, we have two power forwards. This is... We got Joker winning MVP, something he might do this season since Embiid is no longer eligible because he's injured. We got Pat Haywood, Rookie of the Year. Mobley, fourth DPOY. That should give him the record. Mellow ball back in here. But the question of the day, how is my guy Bobby Clint, man? Okay, he put up 24 and 12. Now I understand these stats are inflated. So in real life, he's probably putting up seven and five, right? But obviously we're not in the playoffs. Uh, we got like, I think 12 wins this season. And it's going to be the Spurs and Raptors with Wemby winning his first ring. All right, I'm gonna be honest, we are missing a shooting guard. We need someone else that can score and play defense. And the New Orleans Pelicans, dog. If we can get Brandon Ingram or even better, Zion Williamson. So let's shuffle this. If we can get another power forward, I just put Zion a small forward. And come on, 2K. Or this isn't even 2K, this is a wheel. They're giving me a shooting guard. Wow, I got screwed over. I got screwed over so badly. Their shooting guard, is Jordan Hawkins. I think he's like the nephew of Stephen Hawkins, but bro, a 78 overall player, that sucks. I was hoping like CJ McCollum, but no, that's 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 horrible, bro. So we have a official starting five here with LaMelo, Mobley, uh, Jordan Hawkins, Bobby Clintman, and Rudy Go Gobert, Gobert. He's a 75 overall, he's probably gonna retire soon, so we're gonna miss a player. We're gonna lose a player due to retirement. And it's gonna, it might take, like, look, this is five years, Whole lot of injuries, bro. They're working, they're like like overworking themselves, so it makes sense. We got a high left ankle sprain, we got left shin splints, a lower leg stress fracture, all those miles on your body. They're gonna retire early because of that, probably. Or not, because it's a video game, you know, but you never know. And this time around, it's gonna be the Thunder and Pistons again, and the Thunder win it in seven. All right, we gotta put an end to this. Ah, Gobert retires. No, I'm gonna I'm have him play one more season for us, bro. What we got next? Next up. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. Give me Denver. I want Nikola Jokic. Okay, we got the Denver Nuggets. And the thing with Denver, uh, if they kept the roster together, I don't know if anything happened, but we can get Jamal Murray, Michael Porter Jr. And we're getting their point guard, which should be Jamal Murray. Unless he got traded. We're gonna find out. Okay, no, he didn't get traded, but yo, low key, low key. We could get Tyrese Proctor instead, who's 24 years old, and he's on the way up. I could choose which one I want. Jamal's getting older and declining. I'm going with Tyrese Proctor. Now, is he a real player? Beats me. I don't know. But last season, he put up 14 and 7, so he seems like a pretty good guard to be uh, on the backcourt with LaMelo Ball. So the new rotation. Now, six years in, we have LaMelo, Tyrese Proctor, Jordan Hawkins, Mobley, Gobert, and Bobby. I say we get 25 wins. Nope, 14 wins, which is, I guess, no, nah, that's, that's pretty bad, bro. I, we need a bench, obviously, right? But Tyrese Proctor, dang, Mobley. Yo, he keeps getting injured. This guy might actually, like, have his career ruined because of the way we're playing him, which would really suck um, if, if he gets injured too early. 
But Tyrese Proctor with 20 and 8, I mean, that's not bad. I was hoping LaMelo would be like a 93 overall by now, but that hasn't really happened. And this time around, we have the Thunder and Magic. And once again, Shy is just cooking up, man. And Rudy is officially gone. So we lost our center. He, he cannot come back. He was actually a horrible, horrible player for us, but it is what it is. Okay, well, now the year is 2029. So I want to get an idea of what the league looks like. The best player is now Victor Wembanyama with the Spurs, 97 overall. Luka is only 30 years old. Still with the Mavericks, Jokic still in his prime, and then Tyrese Halliburton, Shea. A lot of high 90 overall players. I wish we got Anthony Edwards, but he's on the Blazers now. So maybe we get Trailblazer shooting guard. You never know. Give me something good, man. This wheel has been uh, pretty bad for me lately. And oh my God, finally, the OKC Thunder, man. If we can get Shea, I want the point guard. Ah, no, we're getting the shooting guard instead. Don't tell me we're getting giddy, bro. Oh, no, nah, low-key, even better. We're getting VJ Edgecombe, who I think is a real player. Like, what, 2025? Yeah, he's probably, like, what, a, a, a junior or a senior in high school now? So we're getting VJ Edgecombe, who in these simulations always does good, and it's going to make this team weaker. Okay, call me crazy, but I think this team can actually, like, get 30 or 40 wins because we have a legit starting team, like, you know, LaMelo, Evan Mobley and VJ, that's three really solid players. And then it's just our bench that's lacking. So yeah, man, a couple more seasons. That was year seven for us. So uh, yeah, it might take up to 10 years or even more, or maybe 30. Maybe I'm here until next year, you never know. Well, this pickup worked out great. He won us most improved player. He put up 30, 11 and 2.5 steals. So 30 points is kind of crazy, even though, I mean, look at the end of the day, what happened? We did not make the play-in, we didn't make the playoffs. But we're no longer the worst team in the West. That goes to the Lakers, so a, a win is a win, I guess, right? No? Look, what we have going for us is that all these guys are in their 20s. So it's not over just yet. I'm telling you, a couple more years. That's all we need. And uh, the Orlando Magic are the first seed. The Spurs, Wembenyama, he's having, it's his era currently. And he is going to lose to Cauliflower in the Timberwolves. And the Magic win it all. Paolo Bancaro. Now we do need a center. That would be great. And it looks like we're going to land on the Atlanta Hawks, not the Pistons. Okay. So the Atlanta Hawks, if we did get a center, I couldn't even tell you who's on their team right now. But Trey Young at point guard could be the move. And we are going to stay at point guard. Yeah. Trey Young is no longer their point guard. He left. Okay. So their point guard is actually Cole Anthony at the age of 30. Or do I get Anthony Williamson? Nah. Nah, I'm gonna go with Cole Anthony. That sucks. But we're filling out the roster. You know, we do have three point guards and, a sh and two shooting guards, two power forwards, no small forward or center. Through all this, we still don't have a small forward or center. That's probably our biggest weakness right now. I like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is our best season, obviously, but like, it's a huge upgrade, man. 33 wins and 49 L's. I will gladly take that. So the question is, do we make the playoffs? No, didn't even make the play in. We were probably the 11th seed. Oh, nah, we were the, oh no. We, we're the 14th seed. Eight years in and still have not touched the playoffs. I, I think I was a little too ambitious to begin with. And it's Pistons and Thunder for like the fifth time in the Thunder win it. Shea, how many, bro, how many championships does he have? He has four. He might be like one of the greatest players of all time. There's still so much talent that we can get, man. And we're going to be getting someone from the Miami Heat. Miami Heat, I mean, maybe Jamie Jacquees at this point. I'm sure he's going to pan out to be good. You know, we're eight years in, it's 2031, and we're getting a center, finally. Okay, thank you. Maybe Bam Adebayo. Yes, Bam Adebayo. Now, he is 34 years old, which does suck, but he's an 89 overall, though, so that's great. I will gladly take him. We've come a long way, but now we have a legit team, man. We have eight solid players, and uh, we have LaMelo Ball, VJ Edgecombe, Evan Mobley, and Bam Adebayo all in the starting lineup. That's a really good starting lineup, and some decent players off the bench. Now, luckily for us, you know, the ninth man downwards doesn't get much playing time anyway. So if we just have seven to eight solid enough players, we can make a run for it. And I think this season will be a top five seed. Let's actually simulate this first game and see. Game number one, we lost to the best team in the NBA, which is fine. But I want to see what the power rankings are saying. They're saying that we are, uh, that, that we're the 21st. Okay, so... Still got a long way to go. Damn, bro. Tough scene. I feel like we're like right there. We still can't get enough wins. We finished out the season with 29 wins, bro. Oh, shoot. VJ Edgecombe. He broke his right wrist. So, yeah, he, he was injured for a minute then. That's a shame. It really is. We're at the point now where the Kings are the first seed. So, so many drafts have happened to where uh, Stefan Casserole is on this team, leading them to a championship in game seven. 
Yeah, bro. I, I think he's a real player though. Low key, what if we do this entire video and we don't win a ring? Like what, do I post it? I don't, I don't know. Oh, uh, save me, man. Give me someone great, please. And it looks like Denver. Okay, look, if we can get Nikola Jokic, we won a championship this year. It's that simple. Damn it, we're getting their power forward. Oh shoot, Carter Bryant is a 26 year old, 85 overall power forward for this team. I actually don't mind that. Okay, at this point, look, they're, they're, they're low key, the morale's kind of down, but it's gonna be fixed. But at this point, like 31 years old, we started with Lamelo being like 20, 22 years old. So it, we're, we're in year 10, I think now. Um, the team that won the championship last season, it was the Kings. So I wanna see their roster just has a few solid players and the rest is like, you know, 70 overall players. They have depth in terms of like a full team. But if you look at it minutes wise, the main guys are getting the most minutes and then the bots are getting zero minutes a game. So at this point, we have all actual players on the team for the first time. So we have no excuse to not be a playoff team. Let's just simulate this first game right here and see against the Magic, we crushed them. Look at that, Bam had 26. Okay, that's more like it. And the power rankings are saying that we are a uh, uh, top 20 team, okay. Screw the power ranks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our first winning season, 52 wins, bro. There we finally go. We are now the fourth seed in the West, the first time in the playoffs in the fourth seed. But unfortunately, DJ Edgecombe is gonna be out for four to six weeks, which sucks because he always gets injured for some reason. But we did it, man. My guy Carter Bryant, he was an all-star this season. For the first time, he put up 18, eight and three. I don't even know who bro is, but hey, shout out to Carter. Bam Adebayo, he put up 14 and nine. Evan Mobley, damn, his stats really fell off, but he's rebounding. He's a, he's a glass cleaner for us. And then the mellow ball with 19 and eight. Okay, so look, we're up against the Thunder, a very solid team, but I think they've gotten weaker. Uh, no, they didn't, they, they still have a good team. All right, well, hey, man, round one, if we win this, I'll be shocked. And we lost in seven, I'm, I'm really not surprised. We didn't have our, one of our best players, so no big deal. But we're on the right track. I think next season is the year. So Magic and Clippers, Magic win it. I'm not worried at all. I'm very confident. We don't have anyone retiring, I don't think. Yeah, no one, we have a very young team. We've been blessed with that. But in my opinion, I think it's gonna take one more spin and then we're gonna win this championship. And this could potentially be it. The last spin of the video. And we're gonna be landing on the whole line. Is it Memphis or Portland? I can't tell. It's the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, I don't think Jaws in the league anymore. But if he is, that would be great. Uh, does it matter? Yes, because we are landing on point guard. Point guard of the Grizzlies, moment of truth. Yes, okay, Ja Morant is on the Memphis Grizzlies. 91 overall and 34 years old. Cooper flagged on this team as well. He, uh, yeah, he left San Antonio with Victor to, to be on the Grizzlies, but now it's gonna be his team. Like you really can't tell me nothing right now, bro. We have the best player on the team now. John Morant, 91 overall, Evan Mobley, 88, Lonzo, or Lamelo 88. Bam is still an 87 overall at age 36. That is uh, very uh, lucky because he could have easily been a lower overall at that age. But yeah, you know, 32 years old, I think this is the season. I think this is our best chance to do it. An actual decent bench. VJ Edgecombe's gone down to overall, but this is it. We're going for the first seed. Yeah, and see Cooper Flag's MVP. So getting Ja out of there helped him out a lot. But somehow, uh, I had a voice crack, but somehow they're a first seed and we're a fourth again. What? 60 and 22. The thing is, looking at their roster, they got a weaker roster than us. That's so weird because our roster is, is fire. Everyone's actually feeling a lot better. You know, the morale is up. Bro, this is a championship team. I, no excuse. I don't care for a 4C, bro. This is our year. Round one against the Lakers. I could care less. That's an easy. Okay, we won it in seven. That should not go on to seven. But look at Utah sweeping the Grizzlies. That's a huge upset. We're up against the Jazz. But we lost Evan Mobley for this season. A torn left MCL. And Cole Anthony's out for a couple weeks, bro. That's so annoying. Injuries are killing us. And the Utah Jazz have Jalen Green, Josh Giddy, uh, Cam Whitmore, Julian Straw Hat, and then Pablo Kiba. All right, dog. let's see how this one goes. We're up 2-0, 3-0, and boom, we swept them. And we're gonna be up against the third seed Spurs. They still have Victor Wembanyama, and they got him Cody Wade, a 92 overall shooting guard, and Devin Vaseline stayed, same with, with Sohan and them. Their team is decent, but Wembanyama, I mean, this season, his stats are solid. Okay, let's see if we can do it. 
It's 1-1. One, one. We're up 2-1. 3-1. One. One. Come on, bro. Please. We win it in six. VJ Edgecombe came to save the day, averaging 21 in the, in the Western Conference Finals. And we're in the finals for the first time. The Las Vegas Venom are here against the Knicks. The Knicks have Artie Sykes, who looks like the opposite of a... Uh, wait, it rhymes with Sykes, but yeah, he looks like that. Jalen Duran, uh, Wayne Fuller, Keontae George. So basically all the new players have come in. They got a solid team. And they've only lost one game this entire playoff run. So who knows? Game one, we take it. Okay, VJ Edgecombe had 18. It was a three-point win. Game number two, we take that as well. LaMelo had 23, and we beat him by a lot that game. All right, this is a huge game. 2-1. All right, this game, uh, we lost by 16, even though people put up good stats. Without Mobley, it definitely makes it tougher, and we're up 3-1. Bro, I think we're destined to win this now. So I'm going to hop in the SimCast, and can we do it in our... Wait, is this, is this 10th season or 11th season? I'm, I think it's 10th or 11th season. And we're doing this at home. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We did it. A 20-point win. John Moran dropped 27. Tyrese Proctor with 25. And LaMelo with 23. To get the job done in LaMelo Ball. One of our first players on this team. He stayed through the whole process and won his first Finals MVP, bro. The fact that we did it without Evan Mobley, who was our first player in this entire video, that sucks. But... Hey, man, game is game. Let's see if we can go back to back. I mean, we, 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 we beat the challenge in 10 years, I think it is. 10 years? Let's try to do it back to back. I'm not even going to add anyone because if we did it with, without, you know, Mobley playing, I want to see with, hopefully he's healthy this playoff run. I want to see if this team can go back to back and even 3 P with the same exact roster, bro. Regular season record, only 48 wins this time, but it's all good. I mean, it, it really doesn't matter. We're the fifth seed this time, but are we healthy? Yes. Okay, we're fully healthy. I'm fully confident we're going back to back. I'm going to just simulate playoffs completely. All right, round one against the Clippers. Get them out of here. Grizzlies. Yo, I hate when they come back, man. Chill. I right, bet. Now we're up against the Lakers. Second seed Lakers. And we lost Tyrese Proctor. It's all good. We, we could do without him. But the Lakers have Cody Williams. Oh, Bronny James is, is a Laker. Coincidence? I think not. It don't matter, though. Oh, we're down 2-0. Uh, hold on. 2-2. Yes, sir. Come on. Come back. Ha! <laughs> Oh, game seven, let's hop in. We're playing on the road. I mean, Las Vegas and LA, that's like a, th a three hour car ride, I think. I mean, if y'all are from Las Vegas, you would know. If you're from Las Vegas, I mean, yeah, you, you probably been to a Lakers game. We got crushed. Bronny wins finals MVP for the Western Conference. That's dope. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he had 26 that game. He earned it. Can he win himself a ring with the Lakers? And he does. Continuing his father's legacy. That's dope. And we'll end it there. We officially did it. In 10 seasons, we were able to completely build a random team and win a ring. If you want to see this and try to go uh, with the 82 and 0 challenge instead, drop a like, man. Comment down below if you want to see it. I'll catch you guys soon, man. Peace.